I can't help but cheese with these on. Two plus eight equals good job. Walmart is not playing with file clothes. My temples are throbbing slightly. I don't feel like talking to Kim. It's awful. Kim's eyes are like saucers. What did you see in her house when you went over there? There was blood all over the floor. I dropped my eyes. Like, a lot of blood. I'm just chilling. It's a real chill kind of day right now. Just finished updating my calendar for the rest of September. And I started on October. I also finished my third Rita McFadden book. You all know I've been reading heavy this summer. I had so much time that I was able to read and I've started reading Frida McFadden books, which she is an excellent writer, author. I've enjoyed her books so far. I've read The Teacher, five out of five. The Inmate, I'll give that a four out of five. I just finished The Coworker and I'm so disappointed in the book. I'm, I didn't like it. Like I said, she's an excellent writer and I plan on reading many, many more from her collection. But this one right here, The Coworker, I wasn't really feeling it. I do like books where I'm not able to predict. I like books that are busy with lots of suspense, which all of her books so far are like that. But this book, The Coworker, it just didn't do it for me. It started off very slow. It centers around two main female characters who happen to go to grade school together, of course. They are two opposing characters. The one who knows that she's working with the woman she went to school with. Of course, she's your quirky character, the quiet character, the character who didn't stand out in school, didn't have many friends. Whereas the other um, woman, whose name is Natalie, was a popular girl. All the boys wanted her, beautiful. And of course, she was a mean girl, right? She would take advantage and bully on kids who she could and she just so happened to bully on a girl named Mia who was the quirky character's best friend but the entire time the beautiful popular character was bullying on Mia the young lady who passed away Mia just so happened to be the quirky girl whose name is Don's best friend so Don never got over it Don wanted revenge Don ended up working at the same business as Natalie Wright, the former bully. And what do you know? Natalie is also bullying on Don as adults in this workplace. So now you have Natalie, who has no clue that Don, who was the best friend of Mia, which is the girl who passed away when they were in grade school, Don now wants revenge and won't stop at anything to get it back. She wants to on the live Natalie so it's all of this plotting plotting it's never ending there's so many emails so many narrative emails that it's almost draining there's a scene there's blood everywhere Natalie's being what we thought was framed for the murder of Don who has now disappeared it turns out that Don has self-inflicted wounds that has caused the scene in her own place and she skipped town and she is hiding out in a hotel with another co-worker who happens to yeah it's a lot the end of the story was crazy read it at your own risk if i had known i wouldn't have read it i'll listen to a book recommendation but i don't want to listen to a review of a book before i read it i want to actually take the recommendation for what it's worth read it for myself and see if I like it or not. I don't want any biased, pre-opinionated views before I read a book. This one was not so good. Once I read a book, I'm determined to finish it because I feel like I failed myself for some reason. If I don't finish the book, it is just how I am. I have to finish what I start. I just can't settle inside my spirit if I don't finish the book. What I will do is give somebody else an honest opinion if they're looking for a review of the book so that you'll have fair warning if that's something you're into. I like to be surprised, but I don't like to be unpleasantly surprised. So I will say that I will not recommend this book, The Coworker by Frida McFadden. On the other hand, I am excited to try more books from her. She is absolutely my favorite author of the summer right now. Never would have thought that I'd be enjoying this style of books, but I'm looking forward to the next one. I hope to keep these reviews coming. Let me know if y'all like these reviews because your girl has been reading. School's back in session, but 
audiobooks count too. I'm just so happy I didn't buy it. It's so good to just borrow a book before you buy it and then when you like it you can keep it and add it to your collection but anyway we're moving on to the next book i've started reading a book called frequent flyers so i'll keep you all posted on that that's my book update for this week slash month i'm gonna wrap that up because i'm getting ready to go to my orthodontist appointment for my invisalign y'all know we've been rocking these invisalign since april your girl's doing good I can't help but cheese with these on. I'm gonna trade 20. There she go. Come here. Yeah. Come on. There she is. <laughs> Y'all, why this baby get lost? He was looking for his mom. Oh. Jay's putting up the groceries in the background, but I just wanted, I wanted to share the haul, but I kind of don't feel like it. Y'all know how that is, but just know that Walmart is not playing with file clothes or clearance. They have a lot of cute pieces that I cannot wait to do my OOTDs in, y'all. So be on the lookout for that. I've been seeing these everywhere and they've been viral on TikTok. I couldn't find them in the store, but I found them online. I heard they run very big, so I did order down. And I got a hand vacuum for the car because I'm tired of going to the car wash and paying for those services. Got this cute little glass, of course, for the fall drinks. It's plastic, but shatterproof. I said, ooh, that's gonna be nice for a fall drink, as well as some honey crisp apple cider. I cannot wait to start making our little drinks. Found some more scrubber dish cloths. These actually came from Aldi. I went in for those four pack. They were like three bucks or something. Really nice. Found some work trouser socks. These were on clearance for $3. And the no-show socks from Target on clearance for $3. Really nice quality. And then I needed one of these jiggers for the drinks as well. Three bucks. And I saw it in the gold. I had to get it. I want 10 pieces of candy. How many more pieces of candy do I need? Raise your hand. Oh. Two plus eight equals. Good job. Good morning to my family. Happy weekend. We made it. I am here at the post office. I have to run in and mail a thank you letter to a family member for sending my baby a sweet, sweet card in the mail. Shout out to you. You know who you are. And yes, I do still send old school paper thank yous. I don't think I'll ever get out of doing that. It's something that I just love to do. I love it. I think it is so timeless if i should say so myself we know that stamps are what 64 cents from the last time what's going on in here and get this done that's the only hard part about um actually sending things through the mail you have to actually take the time to stop and go to the post office to get what you need to mail but that's okay we're here today and we're going to make sure we return this thank you as quickly as we receive the gift It's cold in here. So here's the entryway table. I may find another spot for this, but it works. Acorn from Aldi. 
our fall picture we love this one right here it's time to take a new one we actually did take new ones three years ago but this is our favorite one and then just some candles and a few pumpkins moving on to the table we got a lot going on here mm. I don't know if we're gonna do these chargers we're gonna do navy again Oops. silver chargers oh I don't know we're gonna use what we have we're not rebuying I put this together right here I think this is a whole vibe it's so cute you have your navy blue then your burnt orange charger your white plate and the prettiest napkins i use these napkins every year i usually use these during christmas but i i don't mind them i don't mind them being on here i think it's so pretty up against the chocolate table but then we have these placemats here let's see and if we remove the navy blue and put this on like this. That's a vibe to me too. And it looks good on the chocolate. So I don't know. I don't know which one we're gonna go for. Let's, let's think about it. I kinda like the navy under there. It just pops it. Do I wanna play it safe and neutral? Or do I want to put the navy? Here's the the door wreath I purchased from Audi. It is so cute. Huntington Home. This was only $9.99. I always see beautiful wreaths, but they always cost the arm and a leg. Even at Hobby Lobby on clearance, I try to wait until the season is over to purchase a wreath, but the, all the good ones are usually gone. But when I saw this advertised this week for $9.98, they had this and a few other designs and colors. Had one with pretty orange. I just stuck with the traditional black and white. I'm gonna fluff this bow and hang this out on the front door. So pretty. This says, well, hello there. And it has a beading hanging arm. So we'll hang this part from the top of the door with the hanger. Hey y'all, happy Monday. We just pulled up to work. I am getting ready to get out the car. I just wanted to start this morning's day off by saying hello, good morning. I'm holding my phone down because I have a parent actually parked next to me and one of my past students, <laughs> she's now in the first grade, but she's staring right over at me. But I said I was not getting out of this car without telling you all good morning. I'm so wrong this morning. I have a half a cup of Duncan left over. Yes, Duncan from yesterday's morning coffee pickup after church I saved half of that medium coffee and I poured it in my Starbucks cup I kept it refrigerated the only thing I need to do is add ice it is still good so if you want to save some money or some calories pour half of that medium iced coffee into a different cup and save it for the next day it will still be good because this is good I'm just waiting to add some work ice. We all know that that expensive work office restaurant nugget ice is the way to go. So I'm going to take advantage of their ice while I'm here. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you all later. We have a dentist, a regular dentist appointment today for our cleaning. Hopefully we'll get a little footage there. And then we'll be all caught up on the mouth, okay? Okay, have a great day. We'll just see what the directions say. I've never read set for directions. I've been using antiseptic directions. Only preferably after each and every half, twice a day, and not more than three times a day, or as directing that. Minimize swallows, put out after brushing. 
Yeah. And then my swallowing for children on the age of six, that's not us, doesn't say anything about this, and that's the thought. Fit, 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 right business. You know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yeah. You know what? If you have first thing, that'll work too. At 7 a.m. That works. You sure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> We're finished with our appointment. Ooh, white stuff all on my lip. That's fluoride, y'all. She told me, don't rinse or drink anything hot. But we at least got to get the outside of this mouth in order of this ooh, you already know what that reminds me of let's get these lips together i'm headed to sam's i'm gonna pick up some stuff for sliders it's gonna be a quick easy dinner tonight the game comes on monday night football my husband's ready to enjoy some good football food so we decided on sliders Pulled chicken sliders, potato salad, fruit. I don't know. I might do a quick, easy macaroni. Something easy, like kind of a barbecue-ish thing. My mouth, it feels okay. I had some sensitivity in a couple spots. Why did she pop out a popcorn hole that was in my gum line? I had popcorn a couple days ago. She says sometimes food can float in your gum line. Did y'all know that? I, I, I promise I didn't feel it. So be careful. Be careful of, of that. Make sure. Make sure you're being careful when you're eating certain foods. But she got it all out and I'm thankful because <laughs> it could have been bad. Bad, bad. So I have this fluoride on my teeth. She told me do not put trays back in until tonight. I'm about to go to Sam's Club now. We're gonna get our food and we're heading home. I don't usually come to this Sam's Club location. It is quite empty. Maybe it's because the game is coming on or most people come on the weekends. All right, it's time to get up out of here. We got our boiled chicken, we got our buns. And kinda go 